This is lesson 5.5, example 1. We are estimating products and quotients involving fractions and whole numbers here. So, and mixed numbers. Let's look at this problem. We have 1 sixth times 20, which we know that we can write as 1 sixth of 20. So we are taking 20 and making it into six groups. We want one of those six groups. Now, I don't know about you, but 20 and 6 doesn't work well for me. I know that 6 does not go into 20. So if I take these 20 items here that I have, and I go, okay, I want to put them into groups of 6, or six different groups. I'm going to go groups of 6, because that's easier than groups of 6. So 1, uh, here's 2, and there's 3, and I can't quite make another group here. There's only 3 left. So, I can't divide it evenly. What I can do is go back to when we were dividing with decimals and whole numbers and fractions and whatnot. That um, we have those things called compatible numbers. And a compatible number number, if you recall, is a number that works really well. Compat yeah, compatible number is a number that works really well with another number. So, what number really close to 6 works well with 20? Well, let's count, let's find the multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, pause here. Which one is closer to 20? 18 or 24? Well, 18 is closer to 24, 20 than 24 is. So, let's use 18. So, now we're trying to find 1 sixth. not 16. Now we're trying to find 1 sixth of 18. And if I split 18 into three groups, now I can do that. What is 18 times 1 sixth? 1 sixth times 18. What is 1 sixth of 18? And that is 3, because 3 times 6 is 18. So 1 6th of 20 is about 3.